You know how general managers will sign quarterbacks early? And sometimes, like, Carson Wentz is injured and stuff, and you're like, why are they doing that? The reason they do that is because quarterbacks now are so important. You just, once you find one and you think he's the right person, you sign him, you hope you get a little bit of a financial break over the next five or six years. This league is all about quarterbacks. Seven games in, Tom Brady has transformed the Buccaneers franchise. Bill Belichick, have you watched New England? Belichick, the smartest football coach ever, has won 43% of the games in his career when he didn't have Tom Brady starting. Pete Carroll fired twice, 14-18 and 18 in Seattle pre-Russell Wilson. Mike McCarthy, Favre and Rodgers looked like one thing. Seen Dallas this year? But we talk about strategy. You know the difference between Facebook and and MySpace, it ain't strategy. It's Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, that, that, that's your strategy. Stop talking about strategy. Tom Brady in seven weeks has changed the franchise. Now you got guys like Gronk is retired. Suddenly Gronk's like, you know, maybe I can play another couple years. Antonio Brown had his choice. Eh, I'll go play with Tom. That's the power of Tom, the power of LeBron. It's what legends do. And look at arrogant New England. New England, remember that article a couple years ago? One of the assistants said, we could win with a lot of quarterbacks here. Well, you got Cam, and that's, it ain't working. In this divorce, one has remarried and is flourishing, and New England is living in a van down by the river. Andy Reid went from can't win the big game to the leader of the next dynasty, thanks to Patrick Mahomes. John Harbaugh was going to get run out of Baltimore. Then something called Lamar Jackson happened. I like strategy. I like data. I can be a football nerd. It's about the dude. It's about Brady. Belichick's won 43% of his games. He's as smart as anybody that had ever been in this league. And it's when you get a LeBron or you get a Brady, it's not just about their game. I mean, Jameis Winston, big, strong kid, beautiful arm, throws to the wrong team too much, but he's got all sorts of talent. It is about accountability. It's about leadership. It is about holding teammates to a standard that the organization's never had before. Think about this. It was two weeks ago. New England goes on the road and is awful against Chicago. 11 penalties. Brady is yelling at everybody. And what do you hear in Tampa? Tom's mean. Back-to-back games. No turnovers. No sacks allowed. Four penalties in two games. That's called accountability. It's not about talent. Jameis had talent. Brady, LeBron, hold you accountable. I like Frank Vogel. I like Ta- Ty Lu, But LeBron's made those dudes a lot of money and given them a lot of fans. It's not about strategy with LeBron. It's not about strategy with Tom Brady. It's about coming into the room and changing the temperature of it. You hold everybody accountable and your leadership and your efficiency. It, it is unbelievable to watch Tampa... And by the way, you knew it wasn't going to be easy. There's no preseason. Tom's getting older. We we knew it wasn't going to be easy. New system, new coach. But this is not a Bruce Arian story. The Bruce Arians book has been written. No, No risk it, no biscuit. Throw the ball down the field. Be aggressive. Really loose. Tampa still all those things. They got rid of the loose because they got Tom Brady, and he's totally accountable. It's not about experience. It's not about strategy. I like Andy Reid. I think Pete Carroll and Belichick, first ballot Hall of Famers. But Mike McCarthy, watch the Cowboys today. This is why franchises sign quarterbacks early, even ones with injuries. I mean, are you watching the Chargers and Justin Herbert? They're going to sign him early. Guarantee it. They're going to sign him two years early. Joe Burrow in Cincinnati. Kyler Murray in Arizona. Sign him early. Get a discount. So hard to find the right guy, and when you do, and Tampa did, it just took them, you know, 50 years of their franchise to find a quarterback. They changed the temperature of the franchise in seven games. Tampa this morning is the best team in the NFL. Um, all right, I'm from the Pacific Northwest. Proud for years and years to be a Husky and Seahawk fan. And uh, last couple of years, Joy has seen me. Just can we let Russell Wilson take over the team a little bit? Can we let Russ? And so there's a saying in Seattle called let Russ cook. And I love the saying let Russ cook. But we didn't ask that he runs the whole damn restaurant. 
he needs a little help as he's cooking. Could you have a prep cook? Could you have a general manager? Could you have some waiters? Could you have somebody washing the dishes? Yeah, I know he threw three interceptions last night. But unfortunately, he has no help. They can't cover anybody. No pass rush. Miles Garrett has nine sacks this year. The Seattle Seahawks team has nine sacks. The leader of the Seahawks in sacks is Jamal Adams. He's not only a safety, he's only played three games. They can't guard anybody. They can't cover. They can't get pressure. They're giving up 6.3 yards a play. You want to know the other two teams that are close to that? Atlanta, one and six, and Jacksonville, one and six. Seattle should be one and five. Do you know how bad the Dallas defense is? I mean, we're all like acknowledging how bad it is. Oh, Seattle's given up more yards in one less game. We want Russ to cook, but the cook, even if he's a five-star chef, needs a little help. There's a reason that Russell Wilson throws some picks, and one was really bad. It should be noted his really bad one did not result in any Arizona points because DK Metcalf is not human. Uh, The point being, if you watch what is happening right now in Kansas City with Mahomes, Yesterday, last week, they ask Mahomes five, six, seven times a game, go be special. In Seattle, they ask Russell Wilson to be special. The minute he leaves the team hotel to get on the bus, and then they ask him in overtime to make more great plays. There's a difference between let Russ cook and force Russ to run the entire restaurant. They have got to make a move. This is, I mean, it's in, he's everything. That's why I don't understand when Pete Carroll got conservative in regulation. You trust this defense? And by the way, Russell Wilson in Seattle is becoming James Harden with the Houston Rockets. It can be mesmerizing, historic. It is fascinating. But there's a reason that James Harden is out of gas by the first round every year. And you're going to run Russell Wilson absolutely into the ground with this football team. He needs help, something, anything. Tyler Lockett, who again came out of college as sort of a gadget guy, thank God that works. I mean, cross your fingers, and, and those two are unbelievable. But if you look at how Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson are sort of allowed to grow. Jared Goff, you'll watch that tonight. You're allowed, you're asked to be special a half dozen times. You're not asked to be special the minute you get off the bus, even after the game. Russell Wilson is willing to take all the heat for the entire franchise. Total pro, that's what you do since that, you know, things could unravel here, which they very easily could. Just say it again. Seattle allows 6.3 yards a play. Two other teams in the league are close to that. They're both awful. Atlanta with Matt Ryan. I like Matt Ryan. When his defense is bad, they're 1-6. and six. You know, Russell's 5-1. and one. Jags, Gardner Minshew, we thought he was something special. They allow six yards a play. Yeah, they're 1-6 and six too. So now, Kyler Murray, for the record... He doesn't have a ton of support either. Without Chandler Jones, he made a couple of, he made one terrible interception. Both these guys did. It was a mirror image, right? But again, you're asking Kyler Murray to save the franchise. So I thought, I thought what you saw with the present and what you saw perhaps with the future of the league is you can ask Kyler and Russell to be special seven, eight times, and they're worth 35, 40 million a year if they are. But if you become the Rockets and you're asking Harden to play 38 minutes and score 47 points, it doesn't work. You, you're going to run these guys into the ground. Um, and by the way, Tom Brady last week against Green Bay, they won in a route. Brady threw for 166 yards. Make about four big throws. He did. You got to allow your quarterback to breathe a little off the bus. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.